You absolutely love your rabbit, and you're not afraid to show it. But all the toys, comfy beds, and treats can't let your bunnies know how special they are to you. In this video, we'll show you 14 ways to tell your rabbit you love them in a language they're sure to understand. Number 14. Hiding Spot Bunnies are always on the lookout for places to shelter. It makes them happy knowing there are places they can hide and feel safe. In their natural habitat, they protect themselves from predators with underground tunnels they can run into and hide. So, to show your rabbit you care for them, make them a hideout, like a wooden house in the style of a small kennel, so that they can have alone time when needed. These hiding spots will simulate their tunnels or burrowing systems and allow them to shelter when they get spooked or feel threatened. From there, they can listen and decide if they are comfortable enough to come out or not. This will show them that you understand their needs and that you love them. Number 13. Pet them where they enjoy it most In the wild, rabbits groom each other to keep each other clean, comfort their friends, and show they care about one another. Rabbits see petting as akin to grooming, which happens between two friendly bunnies. When you pet your rabbit, you're telling them you care about them. It's the most direct way to tell your little pet you love them. The best places to pet rabbits are their forehead and behind their ears. They also love getting strokes down their back or around the shoulders. With that said, they dislike being touched on their bottom, feet, stomach, or tail. Number 12. Get down to their level. Rabbits are prey animals and they find anything towering over them intimidating. When you're standing or even sitting down, your bunny can only engage with your legs. They'll see you as a big scary creature and are more likely to be wary of you. Instead of hovering above them as an imposing giant, bring yourself down to their level. Sit or lay with your rabbit on the floor and let them come up to you if they want to. This will make you seem like less of a threat and give your rabbit the chance to approach you. And make sure not to block the exits. Rabbits feel safer and more confident when they know they can leave or hide when they want. Number 11. Chewing Rabbits' teeth will grow continuously all their lives, and they're designed to be worn down to the right length by grinding away at food. In the wild, a rabbit's buffet menu often includes hard vegetation such as hay, twigs, tree bark, and other material that requires lots of chewing. The extensive chewing keeps their growing teeth under control. This is why it's important to provide your little pet with unlimited access to grass hay, which they can graze on throughout the day. Number 10. Prepare their favorite food Feeding and love go together perfectly when it comes to showing your rabbit you love them. So, it should be no surprise that if you give them their favorite fruit or vegetable, they will love you for it. And this doesn't mean feeding them too many treats, which can eventually make them overweight. Small pieces of apple, banana, bell pepper, and carrot are often good treats to try. You can also sprinkle some of their favorite herbs over their dinner. It's sure to make them super happy, and it's a great way to tell them you love them. And remember, although many cartoons have misconstrued that rabbits are obsessed with carrots, the truth is that carrots should have been switched out with bananas. This is because rabbits love bananas more than any other fruits or vegetables in the world. Number 9. Scent Mingling Rabbits are territorial creatures, and they love everything that smells like them. Rabbits often mark their scent through their droppings, urine, licking, or chinning. Yes, that's right, rabbits have scent glands under their chins. When they rub their chin against something, a tiny amount of their specific scent is deposited on that object. Spend time with your bunny and let them spread their scent on you and your clothing. Don't move away when they lick you. Let them wander in and around your legs. It's their smell that helps them know you're theirs and they will feel at ease with you. Immersing yourself with their scent is a great way to let your bunny know you belong to them and that you love them. Number 8. Keep them calm This is the best way to tell your bunnies you love them. Rabbits are prey animals, and anything unexpected will end up scaring them or putting them on alert. If you make your rabbit's day-to-day -day life scheduled than expected, they will be a lot happier in their environment. Then, they will more likely come out and enjoy their shared space. You can do this by removing anything that your rabbits perceive to be a threat, like loud noises, sudden movements, or strong smells. Likewise, avoid exposing them to unknown environments like car rides. And don't let children frighten your pet, as rabbits are known to hold grudges. 
Young children should be introduced to bunnies in a calm and peaceful manner, carefully letting the bunny get close to them at the rabbit's own will. Number 7. Talk to them A study conducted by Dr. Robert Neerum found that rabbits understand a little bit more about human speech than we think. According to scientists, rabbits who were talked to and received affections during the feeding time lived healthier and longer lives than bunnies who weren't. This means that speaking softly with your rabbit while petting them will calm them and help them relax. You might think it's strange to talk to your pet alone, but your rabbit won't think so. Number 6. Respect your rabbit's nature Many rabbit owners confuse caring for their rabbits with treating them like babies. It's important to remember that a rabbit is a rabbit, and we need to respect their singular needs. Many rabbit owners dress up their bunnies or discourage them from certain inherent behaviors such as digging, chewing, or eating their own droppings. In these situations, we are not caring for our little pets, but preventing them from their own nature. This can cause anxiety and frustration. It is important that you love your rabbits for who they are. As a side note, remember that it is natural and important for rabbits to eat their own poop. It's how they re-ingest their food to get the nutrients they need. Number 5. Spend time with your rabbit Like with any relationship, spending time together is a great way to show affection. Try not to get too distracted by the TV or your phone. Make a schedule and devote some time every day solely to your rabbit. Sit or lay down on the floor with them so they can readily interact with you. The attention will make your rabbits feel happy and it will help them satisfy their need for socialization. Number 4. Never let them go alone Rabbits are incredibly social animals and appreciate constant companionship. In the wild, they live in large family groups and constantly interact with each other. As pets, they still have these social instincts and love to spend time with the other members of the household. The best companion for a rabbit is another rabbit of the opposite gender and approximately the same age. But if you have a single rabbit, then make sure the company comes from you. Without your interactions, rabbits can get bored, even to the point of becoming depressed. While toys can alleviate some of the boredom, they still need human attention and interaction. Number 3. Let your rabbit explore Rabbits are curious creatures, and they love having the chance to explore new places and run around. So, make sure to provide your bunny a large enough space to run around and satisfy their explorative nature. You can even build a nice playground area for them. Cat tunnels are also great gifts for your rabbit as they simulate their tunnels and burrowing systems. You can also use cardboard boxes to make them some place to chew, hide, and explore. Number 2. Respect your rabbit's boundaries If you want to show your bunny you love them, respect their boundaries. When they don't want to interact, then leave them alone and let them be. Don't chase after them or force them to come back. Watch your bunny's body language and back off if they are starting to show more aggressive body language. Number 1. Not ignoring them If your rabbit approaches you and asks for attention, don't ignore them. Make sure to stop what you are doing and give your time to your rabbit. Sometimes all they want is a head rub or massage. After all, our rabbits are more than just a pet. They are family members who we are responsible for. They need our attention and interaction to remain healthy and happy.